Hello, is that Taylor Swift? Yes. Hello, Taylor, how are you? I'm so good, it's great to talk to you. Yes, now, uh, massive news, your new video for You Need to Calm Down has literally just dropped. It just came out. How are oh you? Oh my God, it's so exciting. How are, you fe- how are you feeling? You're like, social notifications must be going absolutely off the chain right now. Yeah, it's insane. Like, I just turned over my, my phone and it's, it's on silent, but I just looked at it and it's literally, it's like so many texts. And um, yeah, it's crazy when you keep so many secrets because this is the kind of video where we have so many co-stars in the video and, you know, so many people who dedicated their time to this, but keeping a secret like that is so difficult when there's that many people and it's such a big endeavor. So I'm just like, I can't believe that like all those secrets were able to be kept until the moment that it dropped. And it's just, it's so rewarding when that happens. Well, it's absolutely amazing. People are going crazy for it. One thing we got to talk about is you dressed as fries, Katy Perry as a burger. <laughs> How, that's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying on Capital FM to Taylor Swift. How did that come about? <laughs> Well, um, she and I have really been on good terms for a while. She um, she sent me a really nice note and an olive branch to the, um, like an actual olive branch to my tour when it started, um, the Reputation Stadium tour a while ago. And from that point on, we've been on good terms. And then, like, we, and then we saw each other at a party and walked up to each other and hugged it out and talked about things and then saw each other again, hung out at another party, and it was just like something felt so much lighter about about my life when things became really good between us. And, um, you know, she and I have been fine for a while and, like, really on good terms, but we didn't know if we were ever going to really tell people about it or if we wanted to make sure that was solid between us before we ever made you know, made the public aware of it or whatever. So um, I came up with the idea for this video. I wrote the treatment for it and I sent it to her. And Were, I were said, you nervous I, when you sent it to her? Were you like, oh, I hope she goes for this? Well, yeah. I mean, because I, I definitely wanted her to know that everything, like I wanted her to hear the song first. I wanted her to read the entire treatment. I wanted her to know everybody who was going to be in it. Um, and just we everything about our scene has been like stuff that we agreed on and talked about and kind of brainstormed like with the with the costumes we wanted it to be a little bit cheeky like we didn't want it to be too um i don't know like the rest of the video is so surreal and in this sort of imaginary like color pop vibrant sort of fantasy world that we we thought the costumes would just be kind of a funny way of making a symbolic um, visual of sort of like two people who belong together um, so, so it's, and making a perfect pair. So, 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 so it wasn't some sort of big, <laughs> grandiose, poetic metaphor. It was literally, you were like, this would be quite good banter, wouldn't it? No, we actually, you know, when I talked to her about it, she said this would... We, you know, she and I really wanted to be a symbol of redemption and of forgiveness and the fact that you can grow up and you can realize that if you had just communicated with each other more, it probably would have been different. And, you know, I think that beneath the costume, that's the message underneath all of it is like, we really do want people to learn from things that we've been through. I think that's all you can hope to do when you're, like, learning your lessons in public. Now, uh, we're in London at the moment, Taylor. You spend quite a lot of time over here. Yeah, I love it there. absolutely love you, it there. You call it Funden? It's one of my favorites. I, you know, I started calling it that when I was, like, 18, when I first came over. <laughs> right. Um, and, yeah, because it's just, it's such a fun place to be. I love it. Do and you, whenever do, we go to London on tour, it's, like, the best crowd. It's do, amazing. Do you have a Oyster card? I don't have one, but I know what they are. My friends have them. Oh, okay. Very nice. So you just you just steal theirs and use theirs. Get the old underground for free. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that's the kind of person I am. Exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. Now, uh, Taylor, I was just having a quick look at your Insta as your new video dropped. And I noticed that you have 180 million followers, but you follow zero people. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So basically, I found a couple of years ago that... Um, I found that, you know, social media sort of started to feel a bit like the media's way of monitoring my every move. Yeah. And, like, 
I, I started to realize that, like, if I didn't wish one of my friends a happy birthday on Instagram, oh, the there would literally be articles saying, like, They've fallen out. Yeah. <laughs> no longer friends with so and so. And I'd like, I'd like be at the person's birthday party with them. And because I hadn't posted, I, I kind of reject this idea that if you didn't see it on the internet, it didn't happen. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I just was, it was kind of my way of like not allowing my life to be controlled and monitored by social media. And I think we're all like, I think we're all kind of taking steps to try and figure out like how how to not let it take over our lives and our feelings of validation yeah. with our lives, right? Yeah, like no, you can't it, like you can't have like a memory and take a picture of it and then spend the rest of the day looking at the comments for that one snapshot of your day. I think you should just like be present for your maybe your whole day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, um Taylor, I'm willing I'm willing to make you a bit of an offer though. Would you maybe consider making me the only person you follow? That is like an amazing idea. <laughs> I will take it over. Okay. Um, just I'm just, just do- that you know people would you know, you never know what, what articles they would write about us, you know? They'd be... Radio they'd be Rob Howard. Into that, they'd be like, that's for only friend. Yeah. Everyone else hates her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, Taylor, I could live with that. Radio Rob Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you back. <laughs> Thank you so much. I uh, and lastly, Taylor, last little thing. So one of our favourite things from your last tune, Me, was this little bit. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. That's <laughs> Sorry, that's the wrong clip I played. Ignore that, Taylor. <laughs> hang on. One of our favourite things was... Spelling is fun. Spelling is fun. <laughs> That was a joke. Okay, well, with that in mind, that Taylor... Was a joke because we were going into the bridge and the, the bridge is like... Girl, there ain't no I in team, so it's like lots of spelling, but yeah. it just was something that we thought was funny in the studio. Well, Taylor, it's now made its way into a radio feature. So, Taylor, we're going to do, because spelling is fun, we're going to do a spelling test. How does that sound? Sounds incredible. Okay, first up, <laughs> don't sound too enthusiastic, Taylor. First up, can you spell banana? B A N A N A. Spelling is fun. You got it right. First, first one done. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Next one, choreography. C H O R E O G R A P H Y. Hey, spelling is fun. Oh, you nailed it. Spelling is fun, Taylor Swift. Yay! <laughs> and last one. Okay, this is a tricky one, right? I want you to try and spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. Okay, it's the A-N-T-I- long it's the longest word in the English language. Oh, go on. A N T I D I S E S T A B L I S H M E N T A R I Go on. Go on. I S M. Oh my god, she's done it. Spelling is fun. Take Swift. It's harder to um, to say the the letters than it is to type. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Well, That's where spelling bees are very difficult. Mate, you absolutely smashed it. You're true to your words. Spelling is fun. Taylor, thank you so much for talking to us yeah. today. It was incredibly stressful for me. Today. <laughs> yeah. I fun, I, I, but I think it's fun now that I won. I get that a lot, actually, <laughs> Taylor. And remember, if you want to follow me, Radio Ooh. Rob Howard. Yeah. <laughs> I broke out in a full sweat and my whole face is flushed. But okay. I hope you have a great uh, day. <laughs> okay, well, you go and sort, sort that out and I will have a lovely day. You as well. Thank you, Taylor. Okay, see ya. Thank you, bye. Capital.